So here are a couple of pointers. When you're working with transition punch, there are going to be a couple of transitions, specifically uh, the effects like glitches or glitch slides, whereas you're going to have a lot of effects layers working at once. In the case like glitches, you can see that there's a lot of different layers happening, and then within each layer, there's a bunch of different effects being animated. So I do suggest that if you feel that your system is slowing down, that for one, you change your playback resolution. So if I right click on my screen monitor, I can see that I'm playing at one fourth the resolution. Okay, so this is to kind of give me more of a preview draft mode so I can see the effects run a little bit smoothly. Again, the, these are just to uh, take note and monitor how your system is and how your playback is. So playback resolution, uh, I always do suggest bring that down a bit. The second thing I want to note is your graphics card. So if I go into my project settings, I go to general, you can see that I'm actually working in OpenCL. Now, in most cases, you should be fine with OpenCL if you're running CUDA, but uh, you know, Premiere can be buggy at times. So when I switch over to software only, I find that uh, I'm having less issues. It's fine to work in software only, but make sure when you go to output or render that you change it to OpenCL or CUDA. All the effects, all the visual effects inside Transition Punch are built within Premiere. So they're using all of Premiere's built-in effects. So sometimes it's just tweaking our project settings to suit the needs of, of the project we're working on and making sure everything runs smoothly. So a couple common mistakes that may be made in the process of working with Transition Punch and just some things to note and look out for is for one, always make sure you check on your insert overwrite sequences button in your project timeline. Because in this case, if you don't do that, right now I have it checked off, and if I were to go to a transition and drag and drop it into my timeline, this is what's gonna happen. The transitions are gonna be stacked together and you're just gonna get the transition pack showing up like this. Now, even if I check it on in my timeline, I wanna make sure that I delete the file I just dragged and dropped. So delete it, turn on your insert overwrite button, and also make sure you turn off your video one tracks. And now go back, drag and drop your transition, make sure you put it in between your center cut between your two shots right here. Now you can see everything's working. If you ever run into a situation where you have this offline media box that pops up, it's very easy to reconnect everything. So the first file you're going to see is the transition punch plate one, and you just wanna hit the locate button and that plate, as well as all the sound effects, are inside the Transition Punch footage folder. And in this case, the Transition Punch image plate is inside the image folder. Select it, hit OK, and everything else will reconnect.